Yeah, hi guys, it's James Sennett here, and uh, on this video I'm going to go through how to map your attributes into your title block, or <laughs> not into your title block, from your title block into Vault. So, um, firstly, what I've done in AutoCAD, and I've just done this in AutoCAD uh, model space nice and quick and easy, I've just set up a very, very simple little type, title block with some attributes in there. Uh, I've just called these ones, you know, simple little attributes. I've got no prompts. Uh, and that's important. I've just, I, it's not really important. It's just important to note. I don't have any prompts in there. Um, and obviously the next thing I need to do when using, um, attributes is block the title block. So let's, uh, go ahead and block that. We will call this one, uh, title block, um, training. Now, uh, this name here is actually pretty important. We need to remember what that name is. So, when I make this block into a block, you want to make sure you know the name of the block that you've just made it, because this is actually what we're going to tell Vault to go and look for. So, I'm going to call it Title Block, block Training, and I'm actually just going to copy that. Just make sure I've got all of my objects selected, and uh, I don't really need to pick a point. I just leave it at zero, zero. Oh, in fact, let's just make it that. Uh, yes, I don't have it anywhere near zero. And go OK. So now that you've got your title block defined, uh, you can obviously go and fill in your uh, attributes if you need be. But you've got that block now defined. If I go and have a look at my properties, I can see the block name, which is exactly what I want. So what I now need to do is tell Vault to look for this block name in any DWG that I check in. So I'm going to just go into my uh, ADMS. So that's the uh, Autodesk Data Management Server Console. And, uh, and that's where I've got to go and define my block name. When this loads up, uh, all I need to do is just have a look at uh, in my list here, I've got a couple of vaults. That's okay. All I need to do is right click on the top level there. I don't need to go under any of these sub vaults. I just go to the top level and say index block attributes. Now, all I need to do in this dialog box is define what block to look for. So, and this is where I type in the training block. So I go okay. And you can see this little uh, checkbox here. This is one that um, a lot of people ask for. Um, so, extract attribute props when available. It basically just means that, it, do you want to see the prompt? And that would be this column here. And you can see I didn't put any prompts in. But do you want to see this column here? Or do you want to see this column here? If you want to see the tag and not the prompt, you need to deselect that. So, unselect extract prompts when available. Uh, the reason is that a lot of the time these prompts will be the same depending on which one. So you might have the prompt saying fill in title line and it's the same on that one and the same on that one. So you don't know which one to select on, which one to map to, I beg your pardon. So just be aware that that's what that checkbox is there for. If you want to only find uh, tags, then, um, then uncheck that. But that's pretty straightforward. Once you've done that, that's now gone and told Vault to index my vault for any blocks with that name. So index for that block. Okay, and I'm actually going to make sure that I log into um, my civil 3D vault because I really don't want to stuff up my production vault now that I think about it. <clears throat> um, so I've got that one there. I'm just going to log out of this vault and log back into my civil vault. Uh, beg your pardon, civil vault. So it's logged into that vault, and you can see uh, in this list here, I'm logged into the wrong vault as well. So I'll just log out and log back in to the civil one. So now that I've done that, uh, I've got a couple of uh, couple of folders. That's all good. Now what I want to do is I want to just check this document in. So I'm going to check this document into my civil vault. Um, so I can just go on. I don't know, here will do. Put it on my desktop and then check it in. 
and I'll just check it into James test folder. All right, so that's basically all you need to do. And that's now told Vault to go and look in any DWG for the, that block. And it's probably found it. So now all we need to do is map to that. So let's go into the attribute or the uh, tools administration and go over to Vault settings under behaviors, properties, and uh, and you can go and build your properties here. Now, if I remember correctly, in here, I've got uh, company address. Let's go with title line one, two, and three first. So back in Vault, let's make a new property, call it title line one, and associate it with uh, the base category. I actually haven't defined any categories for DWGs at the moment in this Vault, so I'm um, just assign it with the base category. Uh, go over to the mapping area and now you choose to uh, find the AutoCAD. So the provider will be AutoCAD. And you choose your drop down. And all you need to do is pick a file that you know has this block in it. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go and find the file that I just checked in, this drawing one. Find that one in the vault and say go and find anything that's in this drawing. So that's what I'm going to do in this drop down. I'm going to go and say open or import from vault. And I'm just going to go and pick on this drawing, which should then expose all of my attributes. And that's what it's done. So now I've got a list of all of my attributes that have been pulled out of this title block because I defined that title block here and in the, uh, the ADMS server. So if I didn't have let's flick over the ADMS server if I didn't have this block here defined in there none of those attributes you see in vault would actually show up so let's map to that first one and you can see I've got a bi-directional mapping um, there's not really much point in saying create at this stage because it can't create an attribute um, but you get the idea we can uh, go and map straight to that property so let's go OK on that one that's created a new property so title line 2 let's choose the base category again and let's choose AutoCAD you'll notice they're already there this time so I don't need to do it again and title line 2 go OK and let's go with one more title line 3 and associate it with category, pick the file to provider, select the attribute you want to map to, uh, let's go three, and go OK. So you've got title line one, mapping to title line one, title line two, mapping to two, title line three, mapping to three. Go OK and uh, close that down which will mean what you're able to do now is actually you might just need to check this document out just to refresh it so let's check it out and let's I don't know actually you know what let's let's change the attributes in it now so you can see uh, maybe one of them changing in vault so let's fill in title on one with TL1 go apply and OK you can see it's filled in the title block let's check that back in Now back in Vault, we refresh, and we should see TL1 there. If I was to select all three of those and say edit those ones, I could now go and type in uh, TL2, TL3, uh, and maybe I'll change this one to TTL. Go OK. So that's now modified those attributes in Vault. And you'll see the attributes have been modified, which is great. Let's, uh, well, let's refresh this one from Vault. And you can now see all the information is now filled in. So that's how you do your mapping in, uh, in Vault from an AutoCAD attribute.
Thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll talk to you all next time.